Hi there guys, so Era of Althea, there has been a new update too. Now, if you've played this game before and seen the other videos, it is a completely different game, although it is the same game, but it's a different uh, Roblox game. So you haven't reset, um, it's a completely new game. So um, you can still play that other game, but I think that it is kind of uh, pretty much done now. So it's best to play this new update and start afresh. So to get your menu up, you need to press M and that will bring it all up. And we have the armor, obviously, when you get your armor, the D-Dex items. So when you find items from killing things, they'll go into there. Your settings, you've got all your settings, things there. You've got the codes that you can put in too. Uh, the codes, unfortunately, won't work until you are level 60, which is a bit of a pain. If you are level 60, there's quite a few codes. There's one, damn my bad, that's one code for 75 spins. Detest, five spins, that's for five spins. Ranked mobile users, that is to eye color your reroll. Uh, Chad mobile users, 30 spins. Bugs fix, fixes, exclamation mark, it gives you spins. One million visits, gives you 75 spins. Demon update, all in blocks, capitals, one, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, gives you spins as well. And the test threw it back on me, that gives you 50 spins. However, they are only for level 60. I really hope they change this because it's kind of a nightmare uh, leveling up to level 60. However, I'll show you them in the videos once I am level 60. So don't forget to get your free spins. Uh, I accidentally did my race spin, I uh, wasn't meant to do that, I wanted to do my uh, snap spins. So that is in your um, settings as well, you can you get your spins and then you can click on to um, the item where the shop is and you can do your spins there. So also in that item bit you have got your swords um, and then the little face is to do a party pretty straightforward now the moves that you need um, once you have a weapon you can press F so when you've only just started you've got your fists which are great combat skills you use R so that's R to get your fists out and obviously click left click right to do uh, your fists like I say once you've got your swords you press F and that'll get your sword out and then to combat you click left and right now to get your grimoire out is E so if you click on E uh, that'll bring your spell book out to run you press shift and Q is dash now also to get your grimoire uh, your magic skills out you press the little um, mark that is in your top of your PC near the one and that will get your um, pages out I'll show you later on and then you can put it into your one or two now make sure also that you go speak to people so you've got the smithy you've got um, the young lady at the front and you've got the guy who does the uh, bounty hunters make sure you talk to absolutely everyone because they will go into your d decks and you can get xp from your d decks even by doing your quest so you click on the quest board and uh, that will knock some um it will be all in blue and you just click on it and you get xp so before you start you can probably gain about to level six by doing absolutely nothing so that's quite an easy way to do your XP and then obviously do the quest so the first quest is defeat the wolves um, if you obviously haven't got a sword to start off with you just use your fist like I say you press R to get your fists out and it's six that you need to kill now you have got other players trying to kill you as well some players are nice and don't um, have their fighting on however some aren't and they kill you so just be warned but once you've killed something, it goes into your d decks again. So like I say, make sure you look at your d decks and claim all of that XP. So this is what I was on about before, the guild lady. You can make yourself a guild as well by um, paying for that. So you can do that if you wish later on. Um, it's Like I say, it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. 
the main thing is um, or to get your fists out do the quest boards you can purchase things so keep purchasing armor because uh, that will get you stronger your damage will be better so you won't get killed as much um, you get your money by the quest so I firstly purchased some armor and then later on I've shown you how to purchase a sword but you can do sword first if you wish it's totally up to you um, but your armor again is just in the if you press M to get your menu up and you put your armor on I love this absolutely red one so I'm going to save up to get that because I think my character look beautiful in that one so um, if, if you want to get your sword uh, you can go to smithy and purchase a sword there that is level one you do have to be level five to get the armor uh, but like I said that, that take, that's quite quick you'll get to level five pretty quick so once you've done your quest you can then purchase your swords so get yourself a sword or if you wanting um, something else there's another weapon at the other side that you can buy as well if you want to get that um, so you don't have to get a sword you can get the other one now to upgrade your swords you go back to smithy you click on your sword and you pay money to upgrade your sword so that's how you do that uh, so make sure you keep getting your armor stronger upgrading your swords and then you'll be able to defeat the bosses quicker uh, and get stronger now also um, what you can do is in that area where your quest board is there is also um, health so you can buy health packs which are the green things which are health very good to get because the, some of the bosses are very very strong and they will kill you pretty much straight away so you need lots of health to drink so you are in tip-top shape to defeat them um, now then the bosses the die wolf after you've killed the wolves um, there is two minute wait for the dire wolf so it's not that long and then after the dire wolf you go to thonk and he is a five minute wait so now i'm on the dire wolf challenge so um this is where you find him it's a big black wolf do not go near his mouth because he like stuns you so you can't move and then that is it game over so try and hit his bottom all the time stay out of the way of his mouth hopefully there are lots of people there to help you but like I say he spawns every two minutes so it's not too bad and then thonk is f every five minutes so you have to wait for him to um, to cut to spawn up again he's very very strong don't go on your own for that one now also the racers that you can get so you can get um, humans Zovax, Liger noble which i am elf jack on and um i think there's demon as well so it all depends really on what race you want to be because some are like good for melee um some are like good for magic so it all kind of depends what you want to do what your strengths are um now the traits so sometimes you get traitless which is absolutely nothing sometimes you're smith so that is to do with your upgrading your swords. Then there's Alchemist, which is um, your potions. You need potions faster. Uh, Resolent is your blocking, um, so you're better at that. Game Addict is your experience, so that's another good one to get. Blade Master, that obviously increases your damage of the sword. And then there's Elven Blood, which is another really good one because that increases your magic now these are the things i was telling you about before with the health make sure you get the health and the white thing is to teleport so when you're a little bit stronger you don't have to run all the way down to um, another area you can teleport to him so again it's a nice um nice easy thing to do now then your snaps there's the ones that everybody gets are fire dark water wind and light so they're the ones that aren't that great um also with your books if you've got a four leaf clover book that is very very good um do not get rid of that because that will give you like i think it's that it's kind of like max near enough but very very good to have that um now with your snaps your first skill comes on level 10 your second skill comes level 25 your third skill comes on 40 and your fourth skill comes on level 65 now like i say you need to um tab out onto that and you 
if you use your tab ski, uh, key, then that will bring up them pages there. And also what they have updated in this new update. So there's three new weapons. There's Runeblade, Daemon Slayer, and El... El I can't see it. Alice Data, I can't see it. But they're the new weapons that um, have, are in the other areas. So the two new areas that they've got is the Frozen Tundra, the Infinity Caverns. And the new bosses are Inebris, which is the Demon Walker, and Sabine, who is the Holy Walker. So they're the two new bosses that they have added into this. Also, new magic. So the new magics that we need to get, which I think are be very interesting. So we've got the sound magic. We've got the gravity magic. They have reworked the time. So time is a very good one to get. This anti-magic and this healing magic. Now, all the other magics, um, if you want to look at my other videos that was the original area of Althea, that, that will show you all these heavenly bodies and everything else showcase on all the other ones. So you can watch that if you want because it's kind of pretty much the same as what it was before. And um, they've just added some new things. So, also, uh, new accessories that they've got. So, they've got the Five Leaf Scarf, the True Crown, and Dawn's Helmet. So, when you kill some bosses, sometimes they drop things like the fairies. Later on down the line, you get to see the fairies, and you might be able to get fairy rings from the fairies. So, the bosses that you kill, you can sometimes claim items, which will be in your Press M, and that will be in your items bag uh, that you can wear. Now, like I say, there's... Um, there's the codes as well. Hopefully, we can show you that when we are level 60. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it just to get you all started. Um, so this is like the first area that you need to do, sort of like from level 1 to say like maybe level 30. You'll be in this area. Um, you do only need to hit Thonk a few times. That's why I went in. Hit him, make sure you hit him about five or six times and then whoever's in there, if you die, it doesn't matter because you'll be able to claim that prize. So don't worry. But yes, thank you for watching. And please, please, please subscribe to me, please. Because I do get a lot of viewers, but I don't get a lot of people subscribing. So please, it really helped me out. Just click it and it's absolutely free for you. Um, and I will be very, very thankful and make lots more videos on this. So thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.